thing I remember most was um, uh, getting jacked like in the first quarter, like if our we're gonna kick off and um, trying to jack everybody up and being there on D and knowing that you gotta stop the play and just make things happen. My fondest memories before the games, all the anticipation of what's going to happen, the butterflies in your stomachs, and, and how that just after the first kickoff, how it all just goes away. I didn't think we were going to do good at all. But after that comeback of that first game, that just that showed, showed me and I think all everybody, everybody then knew that we could win, and it was just, that was key in our, our whole. We showed him what's up, success. Chris. We showed him what's we up. We showed him what's up. Yeah, so we'd either be up or down. And either way, our coaches would uh, get us into it and say, hey, we can, we can, we can do this, even if we were down by, oh, how much were we down by? Like, 17. 17 at one point. But, uh, yeah, we could all, they'd always knew that we could do it. We could come back. When we didn't, we showed them. That was something special for our team. And every, it wasn't just this, the, the starting 11, it was all 40 something, 30 something. But that's what our team was this year. I don't think it was that last year. It is before the game, all the adrenaline. And you know, what's going to happen, you know, who's going to play well, who's going to play bad. You know, just all that stuff before the game, the motivational speaking, and, you know, just getting jacked and getting pumped ready to go. What's another game that sticks out? I think the Roseman game does. Oh, uh, yeah. We had a lot of, you know, in the middle of the year we had some injuries and some other stuff happened. And I think it was big for the team. I think the team kind of depended on certain guys. And me and Tommy were not in that game. And going in, everyone thought, you know, we can have a chance. Tommy and Rob gone. And I think it was key for those those players, especially the offensive line. Really, you know, from that game on, they played, you know, excellent from that game on. I think that was huge for them, you know, that they came and, and we dominated that game. He beat Roseman pretty easy, 35-7 at Roseman. And I think that was a huge game for the team, too, because, you know, it was like a lot of different things being said before the game, and, you know, the offensive line just took over that game. I think we had a lot of yards on the ground. I like the, the time I thought, you know, I remember in the beginning of the year when everyone was saying, you know, we were saying 3-7, and 2-8, and they'd be lucky to make playoffs. Man, I was thinking, I was looking at the team we had and the strengths that we had, and I always thought we'd go back and I mean, I'm going to go in every year and think we're going to win it again. I'm not going to, you know, go in and say, yeah, we we'll just make playoffs. Because that's, you know, that's setting your goals too low, I think. I think, you know, we always got to go for the CIF. That's what I'm going to do every year. 